Today on Jack's Tracks, I do the vinyl talk with Tav as vinyl valentine contest. Stay tuned. Album reviews, record hauls, and vinyl crates again at Jack's Tracks Records. Jack's Tracks Records contests. Hello and welcome back to Jack's Tracks Contest. Today, like you saw in the intro, we will be doing the Vinyl Talk with Tavis val Vinyl Valentine Contest. That was a mouthful. Yeah, I'm very excited to show my favorite love songs by some of my favorite artists. Let's get right into it. So if you've been a longtime viewer of my original channel, I'm sure you know I'm a huge Cheap Trick fan, and Cheap Trick has written a lot of love, love songs, so I couldn't just go with one, I had to go with two, but the first one is, of course, I Want You To Want Me off of In Color, but probably most famous for their Budokan version that they performed in Tokyo. That's what kind of brought them here, their I Want You To Want Me performance in Tokyo. Uh, this is a great record, one of my favorite Cheap Trick records, probably my fec second favorite studio albums yeah uh so in color and in black and white but this is a great record and it has the original version of i want you to want me on it if you're used to hearing the budokan version it's definitely totally different i mean this is more i would even say country it's kind of twangy it has some cool piano sounds in it uh but of course the budokan version is more hard rock with nielsen's hard-hitting guitars so it's definitely a lot different, but I'm, this is all going to be studio versions. The second one by Cheap Trick is the Flame off of Lap of Luxury. This version is actually a gold stamp promo, which is really cool. This is more. Of, this is one of Cheap Trick's more popular songs. They're a really underrated band in my opinion, but I absolutely love this record, and the Flame might be my favorite song on it. I'm sure there's a Beatles one on everybody's list. The Beatles one that I chose is The Long and Winding Road off of Let It Be. I'm actually gonna be showing a different Beatles record, not really a studio record, but a compilation called Love Songs. They had so many love songs that uh, they made a whole record out of it, and not just a record, a double LP. So this is a really good compilation featuring all of their love songs. They probably even have more. They just couldn't fit it all on one single release. Uh, yeah, this song is amazing. The piano work in it is incredible. Uh, so yeah, my Beatles one that I will be choosing for the Valentine, the vinyl Valentine contest has to be the Long and Winding Road. All right, I would have to say this is probably probably going to be my favorite one on this list. It's off of one of my favorite records of all time, the Skid Row debut album, and it's I Remember You. Uh, this record is completely amazing, has all of their hits. Even Slave to the Grind doesn't have as many hits as this one. I mean, Big Gun, Sweet Little Sister, 18 to Life, Piece of Me, Youth Gone Wild, and of course, I Remember You. This was the 30th anniversary edition released last year, or two years ago now, on a really cool translucent red vinyl. I absolutely love this record. I Remember You may not be my favorite off of it, but it's still a completely amazing song. Sebastian's Box, it may be my favorite performance by Sebastian Bach because his vocals are just absolutely incredible in this one. So yeah, if you have, haven't heard it, which I'm sure all of you have, I Remember You is probably my favorite love song of all time. To get some ideas on this list, I looked up on Google top 10 love songs or whatever, and this was number one on all of those lists. It's Foreigners, I Wanna Know What Love Is. I'm not a huge fan of this record. This is probably my least favorite Foreigner record. I love Four, the self-titled, Double Vision. They're all really great. This is probably my least favorite, but if I'm not as big of a fan of it, I can still admit that I Wanna Know What Love Is is a completely fantastic song. Uh, yeah, it comes up number one on every single list on this topic, and I mean, it's a great song. I don't listen to this record as much as other Foreigner records, but I Want to Know What Love Is is probably my favorite off of this. And the final song that I will be talking about is Beth by Kiss. Uh, this album is completely amazing. Destroyer, obviously a complete classic. Not my favorite. Uh, Kiss debut will always be my favorite by far, but this one is still amazing. The B-side on this, Beth, is probably actually my favorite song on it. Actually, you know what? 
Detroit Rock City is my favorite off of this one, but Beth is still amazing. It's just, I believe, Peter, Chris, and a piano, and the production is amazing, and it sounds great. So yeah, Beth, an amazing love song. There's a lot of Kiss love songs to choose from. Uh, I Was Made For Loving You was originally going on this list, but I don't really like that disco kind of feel that Kiss tried to do with Dynasty, Unmasked, and a couple other ones. But yeah, this is an absolutely amazing song. So the final song on this list is Beth by Kiss off of Destroyer. And that concludes this episode of Jack Shots Contest. Thanks so much to Tavis for starting this amazing contest. Go check out his channel. I will leave the description. I will leave the channel in the description down below as well as my original channel, which I always direct people to. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of Jack Shots Records Contest.